view and counter view. View is to agree with the given point and counter view is that you disagree with the given point. Let's see it with an example. Write your counter view against the topic elders are burden to the society. You may take the help of the following points. Views, they don't contribute anything to the society. They don't understand technology. They have fixed ideas and do not accept change. They are a drain to the society. So this is the way the question is given in the exam. I have told you before, views means that you agree with the given point and counter view means you do not agree with the given point. Here, the question is, write your counter view against the topic. That means you have to reject the idea which is given over here. That is, elders are burdened to the society. You are told to prove this statement wrong. Now let's see what these points say. What these points say. They don't contribute anything to the society. They don't understand technology. They have fixed ideas and do not accept change. They are a drain to the society. So these four points, they support the given topic. Elders are burdened to the society. These four points are in favor of the given topic. But we are told to deny the topic, to deny the ideas in the topic. So we are going to prove each of these statements wrong. So remember, when the given points support the topic, we also have to reject these points. So what we are going to do, let's understand this with the answer. Let's see. Elders are not a burden to the society. Let's start. One might object here over the statement that elders don't contribute to the society and elders are drained to the society. Now as you can see here, I have picked up two points from the question. Elders do not contribute to the society and elders are drained to the society. And I have said that I am not going to approve these two points which are given which support the topic. How do I prove that? I have proved that further. Like any other citizen, they shop, they pay taxes, they give generously and also make charitable donations per capita than any other age group. If there would be no elders to look after grandchildren, what would happen to our economy? The working parents, especially in our country, will, no, will have no child care alternatives as the daycare centers are scarce. So what I have done is, see, look at the question again. What I have done is, I have proved these two statements wrong. As in the question it was told to write a counter view, I was told not to favor these, this topic and I found that these statements were, favor, were in favor of the topic. So I am also not going to support these statements. And in my explanation over here, I have given evidences and reasons and examples and justified my first paragraph by proving two of these statements wrong. Then what I have done is I have picked up the next statement that is they don't understand technology. Now how do I prove this? How do I claim that this second statement also is wrong? Let's see. Then I have added up like that. What I feel is elders are quite aware that the world has changed quite radically during the past couple of decades and know that technology and the online environment can offer them host of benefits. Older people can and are getting grips, getting to grips with new technologies, whether they are for surfing the net or using any electronic gadget around the home. Even the companies have created devices that are simpler to use and are user friendly. So I think the belief that elders cannot use technology is unjustified. So what I have done is I have backed up my reasons with evidences by telling that elders use gadgets like they can use appliances at home and then they use internet and even companies are creating user friendly devices. So in this second, statement, second paragraph, I have proved this 
second statement which says they don't understand technology wrong and then what I do is I go for the third statement they have fixed ideas and do not accept change which means that the elders do not change themselves so what have I done to prove this wrong what I have done is I have written in this way difficult behavior agitation mood swings critical and demanding behavior is seen in all age groups so the thought that elders have fixed ideas and do not accept change proves incorrect here what I mean is that even teenagers and other age group people do not change so why only blame the elders then at the end at the age of 65 years, N.R. Narayan Murthy has done a U-turn by deciding to return to Infosys as its chairman. At 92 years, Kumar Mangalam Birla's grandfather, Basant Kumar Birla, the chairman of Century Textiles and Industries, is the oldest chairperson of listed Indian firms. That reminds me of a beautiful piece of thought. Underneath a wrinkled skin often shines a spirit and strength of will that should inspire, not cause ridicule. So what I have done is with these two examples of Narayan Murthy and Basant Kumar Birla, I have summed up my third paragraph with proper evidences and reasons. Okay? I have convinced by all these three paragraphs and justified my answer and proved these statements which are given over here wrong because I was told in the question to do so okay so this is the way you write a view and counter view please do share and subscribe if you like this video and if you want more detailed information on the topic view and counter view, please watch out my next video.